Welcome back on this Tech Tuesday. You know, Apple is getting ready to help you track coronavirus symptoms, but just simply by simply just wearing one of their devices. Hmm. Plus, another green light for commercial drones here in the U.S. Our tech expert, Greg Nibbler, joining us live to get us all caught up this morning. Hey, Greg. Hello. Yeah, a lot of uh, kind of exciting things coming out. And that first one I want to talk about was with the Apple Watch and then actually just kind of wearables in general, which is it, that encompasses a lot of products, but relates Apple Watch, like Fitbits, Garmin, things that do the health tracking aspect of tech. And this is from a couple of studies that came out, one from Mount Sinai Health Systems, one from Stanford. And what they've done is they had a bunch of healthcare workers wear these things that track their heartbeat and then afterward went and studied for those who did contract COVID on whether or not there were symptoms that they could have had beforehand. And they found out they could. So what they found out with the data was, especially with Apple Watch, that it was able to determine variances in their heart rate, maybe up to seven to maybe even nine days before symptoms actually showed up. So it's, it's just kind of an idea of going forward of where we can go with this medical health tech and where it's actually going and how accurate it's getting. This doesn't mean, you know, I want to emphasize, this doesn't mean that your Apple Watch is going to tell you right now that you have it. But uh, going forward, you think about the different things you'd be able to track with this kind of information. It's pretty incredible on what they're able to do with it. So I think it's, it's just a sign of how advanced medical technology and even just ordinary things that we wear are going to get here in the near future. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have an Apple Watch and it will tell me to breathe sometimes when like, right? I'm like I'm nervous or maybe I'm upset about something and then my watch is like breathe and I'm like, how does it know? But how did it know? Yeah. they know these things. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, what they're able to do with them. Yeah. OK, so uh, hey, on a different topic, FAA approving autonomous commercial drones for the first time. So what does that mean? Yeah, so this is that one step closer to getting autonomous drones that will fly and deliver a burrito to your house. But but before we get there, you have to go through these FAA regulations. And so this is one in particular that's going to be helpful to farmers. It's for agriculture is essentially what this ruling's for. And they're going to allow uh, commercial drones. These are 20 pound drones. This is from a company called American Robotics in particular to do these flyovers of big farms and agricultural land and you don't have to have a pilot there. So that's the key ruling. Before, you have to have a pilot come out, which is very expensive, somebody to be on site. Now what's gonna happen is a pilot will remotely check in to this box that's set up in the middle of the field, make sure the drone can, can work right, but then they check out and this thing goes off and flies on its own over vast expanses of acreage, does uh, readings or takes footage, whatever it is that the farmer wants to get, and then comes back and lands in this box and then sends that data back and it nobody ever has to go out to it it charges itself sends the data on its own and it all works remotely autonomously nobody really there and that's a big step for the faa as we see more and more companies want to do commercial drone deliveries even in cities and we've seen a lot of tests of that but this is a big move saying that you don't have to have a pilot there even monitoring it, not even on site that it's just going to do it on its own they trust the tech enough to let that happen yeah, that's pretty cool. And I could see it being really helpful in, in places like, you know, on a farm or, or remote work where you do have a lot of ground to cover. I'm still not yeah. sold on the uh, the drones at your doorstep kind of thing. I, I had yeah. a neighbor use a drone to take pictures one time and it was mm -hmm. hovering kind of outside my window. <laughs> I went from zero yeah. to tinfoil hat real quick. I was <laughs> I was convinced somebody was spying on me. They're, they creep me out. Yeah, well, I mean, it's hard to stop the creeps, but yeah, that uh, that that's definitely an issue that yeah. could come up with that as well. Yeah. Still, still a ways away, though, mm -hmm. thankfully. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> hey, and you found this video game. I was checking this out on the computer this morning. It's pretty funny. 2020, the game. Yes, 2020, the game. This is just a random thing. If you're looking for some, uh, maybe you want to spend 10 minutes away from work today and just go down this rabbit hole. It's pretty fun. So it's a, it's a web-based game. Anybody can play. You can play it on your phone as well. And it's this, this guy who spent six months basically in quarantine developing this game. And it's kind of walks you through uh, all the events of 2020 in, in, I guess, as fun a way as you possibly can in a video game. Um, it's, it's, really, it's really a great time. So I want to get his name, Max Garkavi. So just to give him credit for that. So he's this guy who invented this. He's, a, he's an amateur game developer. <laughs> it is mean? so much fun. And I've had so many friends who I've shown it to have been like i just spent 15 minutes of my life on this thing and 
it's it's well worth it if you want to take a little break today. Yeah. Were, they, were they chasing President Trump in that one? It kind of like, looked yeah. like it. I saw him running past toilet paper there. Yeah. And- <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. You go through all the major events. I was going to say 2020 <laughs> gave us many, many levels to work with. Yes. So there you go. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's pretty fun. It is. All right. Thanks so much for joining us, Greg. We'll see you again next week.